Well, virtually everything has been affected by our stay at home order, including our court system. That may leave you with plenty of questions like, do I still have to report for jury duty? And what happens with my court case? Well, we spoke with Minnesota Supreme Court Chief Justice Lori Gilday to get some answers for you. We did make a decision based on the guidance from state and national health experts to suspend a lot of our in-court appearances and move to a more remote environment. Chief Justice Gilday says they too, like the rest of us, have had to become technology gurus. There is work going on all across the state of Minnesota remotely on all case types. Um, judges are reading documents that lawyers have submitted electronically and maybe having these video uh, conferencing hearings so that we can continue to do work on all of our case types during this time. Court hearings are still happening for emergency situations, but things like jury trials, those are on hold. And if you think about a typical felony case, for example, we need 12 jurors and then maybe one or two alternates. You need the judge. You need a court staff person to be in the courtroom to take the record. You need the lawyers and the defendant and then witnesses come and go. Just with that minimum number, we're already kind of double, almost double what the health guidance tells us we're supposed to have in the room. So that was really what drove us to decide, okay, for 30 days, we're not going to start any new jury trials. Of course, the right to a jury trial is one of the fundamental rights. It's fundamental to our democracy, and those rights will be honored. So you're off the hook for jury duty, right? Well, kind of. People probably are still getting summonses, and they should, in the mail, you get those in the mail, and they should respond. There's some information that you're required to provide. You can do that electronically or in writing, but we're not requiring people to show up uh, for this next 30 days. Justice Gilday knows there will be a backlog of cases that comes out of this. She says they've already thought of that. We have a group that's right now looking at how we're going to process our cases when we get to the other side um, of this pandemic. And I think we really are going to be, have to be creative and a renewed commitment to innovation and thinking about how we can tackle this backlog. And if people still have uh, concerns or questions, they still have access uh, to the court system. I want people to know that the Minnesota judiciary is committed to carrying out our constitutional obligation to provide Minnesotans with access to justice. If you have a question or are looking for specific information, there is a help center on mncourts.gov, or you can call 651-435-6535. That number is answered Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., and we will post this information, of course, for you at care